do you have an album yeah uh i have a few actually i like maybe eight years ago now i put out uh my first album as a solo artist and it was a lot different than the stuff i do now and i don't think i even have that up anywhere it might be on Bandcamp, and then and these are the ones that came out for that and since in the last few years um i've kind of been focusing on doing singles a lot more than like doing full albums um so i haven't put out i think anchor ep was the last like full thing that i did um that you would consider an album uh but i also have a metal ep coming up soon but i think it has nine tracks so i guess you would consider that an album i don't know i don't know how these things are really done nowadays your thoughts on kirk hammett he's an incredible guitar player could you tell us more about your collaborations with nostalgia critic it's so awesome to see you in his videos well thanks i love working um with doug and with the whole crew and it's just you know, it's it's an opportunity to where I can shoot dinosaur missiles out of my guitar and be, be Jesus um, on the internet. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Every once in a while, I'll, I'll get a message from Doug and he'll need a song and will also say, hey, do you want to play Jesus in the next review? Like, yeah. And so I'm sure we'll do more things going forward, I would hope. Um, so that stuff's a lot of fun. Also, there's a really cute girl yep what's your favorite song you've written um i think in my case it's really easy for me to write off older stuff that i've done um for whatever reason the longer it's been since something has come out the, the more i think it's lame so i think I, I think what my favorite song of mine is, is usually just whatever i'm currently working on and that's what i'm most excited about and then i put it out and just never play it again and i'm on to the next thing so I guess my workaround kind of answer is just whatever I'm currently working on is, is my favorite song of mine. And then once it's out, I think it sucks. <laughs> hey Rob, congratulations on your signature. Thank you. My question is why do you not have a mouse pad for so long? I have wondered, we must address this conspiracy. Well, I would hope that the conspiracy theories continue to go, but I will give more information. I'm gonna go get it. Okay, so the mouse pad I have at my computer and I've had for my videos for a while now is this book from 1997. I was helping some friends move some stuff out of another friend of theirs music store that was shutting down. And it's the musician's guide to the internet, the guide to getting you and your music online and I thought it was just incredibly fitting for what I'm doing and I thought it was really interesting to see this book from 1997 and it's also just kind of just kind of funny like to see this old PC on it and some of the information uh, sometimes I'll just thumb through it and it's just really interesting and kind of funny to see just how much things have changed um, since 1997 and I, and I think it just you know it speaks to what I'm doing on YouTube um, it's not a book that I actually well, by the time I got it, it was like 2013 or something, so the information is pretty out of date. Um, but occasionally I'll, I'll thumb through it and just seeing like the web pages from those days and stuff is interesting and just kind of funny. I especially like there's one small part in here where they talk about video and how they don't recommend it because it takes forever to download and then the user on your website will only have like a postage stamp size video, but it does address that maybe one day, maybe there will be this new incredible innovation called video streaming where you might be able to watch videos online. How cool would that be? So, so yeah, so that's, that's my mouth pad. Mouse pad. Second channel.